destiny. Star Wars Destiny is a two-player collectible dice and card game that invites you to stage duels between iconic heroes and villains in the Star Wars universe. Pit Count Dooku and Kylo Ren against Han and Leia among the frozen wastes of Starkiller Base. Or choose Luke Skywalker and Qui-Gon Jinn to battle Jango Fett and Jabba the Hutt at a separatist outpost on Mustafar. The last player with characters left standing wins the game. But to successfully outmaneuver your opponent, you'll need to carefully consider your options and decide which upgrades, supports and event cards to include in your deck. The entire Star Wars universe is open for you to explore and experience in the fast-paced, epic battles of Star Wars Destiny. To begin a game of Star Wars Destiny, each player places their own team of characters, corresponding dice, draw deck and battlefield card on the table in front of them. In the following example, Player 1's team consists of Rey and Finn, while Player 2's team consists of Kylo Ren and a First Order Stormtrooper. Each player rolls all of their character dice and adds up the total number values. The player who rolls the highest combined value decides which of the two available battlefields to play on. Deciding what battlefield to bring and when to claim it is a crucial piece of strategy in every game of Star Wars Destiny. Player 1 rolls a combined number value of 3, while Player 2 rolls a combined number value of 2. Player 1 wins the roll-off and decides to play on her battlefield, the Starship Graveyard. The player whose battlefield is not being used removes their battlefield from the game and gives two shields to their characters. Player 2 chooses to place both shields on Kylo Ren. After the roll-off, each player draws a starting hand of five cards from their respective draw decks. Each player now has the opportunity to shuffle any number of drawn cards back into their deck in an attempt to draw a better starting hand. Both players then gain two resources from the token pool and are ready to begin the battle. During each round of Star Wars Destiny, you and your opponent alternate, taking a single action on your turn. Nearly everything players do in the game is an action, from playing cards to rolling dice. Because player one controls the battlefield, she will take the first action and chooses to activate Finn. To activate a character, player one turns Finn's card sideways and rolls all dice associated with him, obtaining a one range damage result. Player 1 places the die result in her dice pool. She'll be able to use this result to inflict damage on her opponent with a future action. It is now Player 2's turn to take an action. He uses his action to play an event card from his hand. When playing a card, players must pay the resource cost on the card. Player 2 pays zero resources to play Take Cover, which reads, Give a character one shield. Player 2 then gives Kylo Ren a third shield and places Take Cover into his discard pile. Shields block damage from your opponent's attacks, but are limited to three shields per character. It is now Player 1's turn. She pays two resources to play an upgrade card, Jedi Robes. Upgrade cards are attachments that can be added to your characters to give them added abilities and more dice. Jedi Robes has an ability that reads, after you play this upgrade, give attached character one shield or two shields instead if it is the first round of the game. Player one gives Rey the Jedi Robes, adding the matching Jedi Robes die to Rey's collection of dice. She then gives Rey two shield tokens because it is the first round. Rey also has an ability that reads, after you play an upgrade on this character, you may take one additional action. Player 1 uses Rey's ability to activate her, rolling both of Rey's character dice as well as the die for the Jedi robes. Player 1 rolls a blank, a plus 2 melee, and a 1 resource result. Player 2 responds by activating his First Order Stormtrooper, rolling a 2 range damage for 1 resource symbol. 
This result can only be used by spending a resource token. Player 1 decides to resolve Finn's die, dealing one rage damage to the Stormtrooper. She removes Finn's dice from her pool and returns it to his character card. Once a character has damage equal to its health, it is defeated and removed from the game. Player 2 decides to resolve the Stormtrooper's die, playing one resource and deals two damage to Rey. However, each shield on a character blocks one damage. Rey loses her two shields instead of taking damage. Player 1, as her action, decides to discard Force Throw from her hand. Discarding a card allows her to re-roll any dice that are currently active in her dice pool. Player 1 re-rolls the Blank Ray die and the Jedi Robes die, gaining one melee damage and one disrupt result. Player 2 decides to activate Kylo Ren, rolling both dice and gaining a two melee damage for one resource result and a special result. Player 1, seeing that Kylo Ren will need to spend a resource in order to inflict his two melee damage, decides to use her action to resolve Ray's disrupt result. When resolved, a one disrupt removes one resource from your opponent. In retaliation, Player 2 decides to use his action to resolve Kylo Ren's special result, which reads, choose an opponent's character, then look at a random card in that opponent's hand and deal damage to that character equal to the cost of the card you just looked at. Player 2 chooses Rey as a target, revealing BB-8, who has a cost of 1. The special result then deals 1 damage to Rey and the BB-8 card is returned to Player 1's hand. Player 1 has two dice remaining in her dice pool, a one melee damage result and a plus two melee damage result. The plus two result can only be resolved with a standard melee result, so Player 1 resolves both dice at the same time, dealing three damage to the First Order Stormtrooper. Because he has no resources to resolve the two melee damage for one resource result, Player 2 decides to use his action to discard Use the Force from his hand and re-rolls Kylo Ren's remaining die. Player 1 has now resolved all of her dice and all of her characters are currently exhausted. Since she doesn't wish to play unpredictable, she decides to claim the battlefield, placing it on her side of the play area. She will retain the battlefield until Player 2 uses an action to claim it on a subsequent round. Whenever a player claims the battlefield, that player resolves the claim ability printed on it. In this case, the Starship Graveyard reads, Choose a support or upgrade in your discard pile and place it on top of your deck. Player 1 chooses Force Throw and returns it to the top of her deck. Player 2 decides to resolve Kylo Ren's remaining die, giving a shield to his Stormtrooper. Shields can be given to any character, not just the character shown on the die being resolved. Player 2 has now resolved all of his dice, and all of his characters are currently exhausted. So he decides to pass, and the round enters the upkeep phase. During the upkeep phase, all character cards are readied and any dice remaining in the dice pools are returned to their characters. In addition, each player may discard any cards from their hand that they don't wish to keep for the next round. Both players then draw back up to five cards and gain two resources before continuing to the next game round. Since Player 1 claimed the battlefield in the previous round, she will take the first action. Player 1 decides to spend one resource to place BB-8 and the corresponding BB-8 die into play. Support cards with dice like BB-8 activate like characters, but cannot be upgraded or take damage. Player 2 decides to spend his first action to play the event card, Enrage, which reads, Deal one damage to one of your blue characters to gain one resource. Player 2 deals one damage to Kylo Ren and gains one resource. Because Kylo has three shields, one shield token is removed instead of taking damage. Player 1 uses her action to activate Rey, rolling her character dice and the Jedi robes die, resulting in one discard, one blank and one resource result. 
Player 2 uses his action to pay three resources to equip a lightsaber on Kylo Ren. This powerful weapon will give Kylo extra damage potential. Player 1 then activates Finn, gaining one resource result. Player 2 activates Kylo Ren, rolling both of his character dice and the newly equipped lightsaber die, resulting in two melee damage results and a plus two melee damage result. Player 1 uses her action to play Unpredictable, which costs zero resources and reads Ambush. You may take one additional action after you play this card. Reroll a die, yours or an opponent's. Player 1 rerolls Kylo's lightsaber die, changing it to a one resource result. Player 1 may now take an additional action and decides to resolve the resource symbol on Finn's die. Because players may resolve all similar dice symbols on all dice at the same time, player one is able to resolve the one resource result on the Jedi robes as well, gaining two resources. Player two decides to resolve Kylo Ren's melee damage and hits Rey for two damage. Player one activates BB-8, rolling the droid's dice and gaining a focus result, which will allow her to turn one of the other dice in her dice pool to any result. Player 2 activates his First Order Stormtrooper, rolling two ranged damage. Player 1 uses her action to play Dodge, spending two resources. Dodge reads, remove all of an opponent's dice showing ranged damage. Player 1 removes the Stormtrooper's die from Player 2's dice pool. Player 2 uses his action to discard the F-11D rifle from his hand in order to re-roll the lightsaber die which gains the plus two melee damage result. Since the plus two result must be used with a standard melee result, it cannot be resolved on its own. Player one then resolves the discard result on a Ray character die. The discard result forces player two to discard one card at random from his hand. Player two, not wanting to discard more cards in order to re-roll the lightsaber, decides to claim the battlefield for himself. This triggers the battlefield claim effect, and he returns power of the dark side to the top of his deck. Since player two has claimed the battlefield, he is not able to take any more actions for the remainder of the round, and player one may take as many actions as she wishes. Player one resolves the BB-8 focus result, which allows her to turn one of her dice to any result. She decides to change Ray's last die to the one resource result. Player 1 then takes her next action, resolving Ray's die to gain one resource. Player 1 then spends two resources to bring Ray's staff into play, attaching the card and die to Ray. Equipping Ray's staff triggers Ray's ability which reads, after you play an upgrade on this character, you may take one additional action. Because all of her characters are exhausted, all of her dice resolved, and she has no cards that she can play, player one decides to pass. Since both players have now passed, the game enters the upkeep phase. All unspent dice are returned to their characters, all characters are readied for the next round, and both players gain two resources. Each player also has the option of discarding cards they don't wish to keep in their hand. Once both players have drawn back up to five cards, the next round is ready to begin. Gameplay will continue until all of one player's characters are defeated or a player is completely out of cards in their draw deck and hand. Each Star Wars Destiny starter set provides a unique and fun experience. Customizing your deck with other cards and dice collected from the available booster packs lets you customize teams from across the Star Wars universe. When deciding on your team, you can choose up to 30 character points. Unique characters have two different point values. You may choose either the smaller point value to use one of that character's dice, or the larger value to use two of that character's dice. You must select either all hero characters or all villain characters for your team. You cannot mix the two. But you may have characters of the same color or different colors on your team. Additionally, you can select only one copy of each unique character, but you may include any number of non-unique characters on your team. Once your team has been selected, you will create your 30-card deck. Your deck can contain events, upgrades, and support cards. 
When building your deck, you must follow a few simple rules. You cannot include more than two copies of the same card. Blue, red and yellow cards can only be included in your deck if you have a character on your team of the matching color, while grey cards can be included in any deck. Gaining more dice is crucial to increasing your team's prowess. Many upgrade cards and support cards also have corresponding dice. You must carefully consider this when choosing which cards to include in your deck. Finally, you must choose your battlefield. If you claim the battlefield, you trigger its power and guarantee that you'll have initiative next turn. But you also forfeit your ability to take any more actions for the duration of the current turn. Choosing which battlefield to bring and when to claim it is critical in every game. From the Trade Federation's blockade of Naboo to the heroic attack on Starkiller Base, there's no part of the Star Wars saga that you can't encounter in Star Wars Destiny. Select your team of characters, grab your dice, and choose your battlefield. Prepare to fulfill your destiny.